In my country it's currently very very cold guys and sometimes it's also windy and cold and windy it's a disaster for skin and some of my friends have already come to me with a question what to do with their skin and it's red it's dry it's itchy it's peeling it's everything bad can happen to the skin and let's talk today about how to avoid skin damage during winter and guys even if you live in the south probably you're planning a ski trip or something like this so these tips might be actually very useful for you also hey you guys happy holidays i hope you have best time with your families it's a magical time i love christmas and new year so much december is one of my favorite months really really love december magical and with this weather it's it's so much easier to love December guys and also our son was keeping daycare for like two and a half weeks he wasn't sick but we were and there were a lot of like infections in his kitten garden so we decided to skip it and we survived as great as we could so let's first talk about skin barrier as you probably get from the name the barrier is something that protects us so skin is our largest organ and it protects us from the outer environment skin as you may know consists of layers the outermost layer of the skin is called epidermis and the outermost layer of the epidermis is called stratum corneum which uh, basically is your skin barrier is the barrier that protects you but not only stratum corneum protects you from the outer environment it also can retain moisture so it regulates the transmitting of water loss and it mainly consists of corneocytes lipids like cholesterol fatty acids and ceramides and unfortunately many things can destroy our skin barrier but today we're going to focus on the cold and windy environment and the damage they can bring to our skin so yeah you can tell that your skin barrier is damaged if your skin feels dry if it's rough to the touch if it's itchy if it's red if something is off if something feels like you need to exfoliate like roughness of your skin and you need of okay of course i need to exfoliate and then my skin will be perfect again it doesn't always work like this sometimes the roughness of the roughness of the skin can show you that your barrier is off and you absolutely cannot exfoliate you will make it worse so the tip number one to protect you from the cold environment is to create a barrier to wear hat to well, beanie to wear gloves to wear a scarf to wear like something that covers your face or a scarf and yeah to cover up and fashion is fashion guys but if it's minus 20 I know we all, girls and boys and everybody, wants to look perfect, good and stylish, but if it's minus 20, I just want to survive. So basically, less skin gets contact with cold, less skin gets irritated. So what else can be a barrier besides clothes? It's surprisingly sunscreen. Yeah, sunscreen. By the way, guys, if you are in the mountains, if you are high up, you are closer to the sun and this is... The time to wear sunscreen even if it's winter uh, you know there are really sunny days during winter and as you are closer to the sun you will burn a lot more easily than on the not in the mountains <laughs> So yeah guys, wear a sunscreen, if you go skiing every day, it will protect you from the sun damage, it will protect you from the wind, it will create a barrier on the skin and protect you from the cold and wind and sun and wearing sunscreen is cool guys. And what else you can do to create a barrier is to use a lip balm, you can also use your lip balm on your cheeks, on your driest part of the face or the parts that you want to protect and Vaseline can also be your lip balm or your balm. <laughs> Any occlusive you find, you can use it to create a barrier and just go outside and don't be afraid. <laughs> so basically what I'm doing, and last year we went skiing with our toddler, he was he was two, I think, yeah, he was two. And I would literally put the bomb on his on the whole face. It wasn't really cold, but it was windy. And in the mountains you feel the minus eight, you feel like minus fifteen, I think, and it's windy, so yeah, as he was waiting for me from skiing for like half an hour, one hour and a half, sorry, 
I would put the balm on the whole my face, on the whole his face, on the whole my husband's face. Let's move to tip number two to protect your skin from the cold environment and it's to hydrate your skin as much as possible and to use richer creams, richer moisturizers and to use occlusives. And as you may know, there are different types of moisturizers. There are humectants, which will hydrate your skin, which will bring the moisture into your skin from the outer environment, will bring the water molecules from the outer environment into your skin and these are for example hyaluronic acid, the glycerin, the lactic acid, etc. And there are occlusives which will seal the moisture in and by this will, they will prevent the moisture loss, the transubitural water loss. And for example, occlusives are Vaseline, we talked about it, and the lanoline, and squalane, and there are a lot more. My camera just died, so let's continue. And why are we doing this? Why are we hydrating our skin? Why are we putting occlusives on? And simply because it's <clears throat> dry outside and it's dry inside and my inside because the heating is on, it's like... <laughs> I sometimes can not even breathe because my nose is so dry, guys, and my mouth, my throat is so dry. And for example, I'm sitting here for like half an hour talking and by the end of the video, my throat gets so dry. So basically, yeah, we're just helping our skin to survive, we're just bringing the moisture back into our skin. And winter is actually a great time for slugging. If you're not familiar with slugging, slugging is when you use an occlusive, Vaseline, for example, and you are using it as the last step of your skincare routine, preferably in the nighttime, because during the day, I don't know about you, but I hate it. Something sticky is on my skin. I really hate it. I hate seeing makeup on the skin, and I hate when my face is sticky. <laughs> So yeah, I am like this, but if it doesn't bother you, but the one more problem is that it will stain your clothes and Vaseline, is it really easy to get Vaseline off your clothes? I don't know. I am just dealing with my pillows, so I don't know. And yeah, I am using Vaseline or any occlusive I can find at home during the night, just I put a tiny thin, a very thin layer on my skin and yeah, during the day basically what you can do is you can apply it to your dry spot like under the eyes, around the nose and your chin. I get really really dry on my forehead really and yeah, cheeks of course. It, it will be as a highlighter. <laughs> uh, and probably you've seen this and Hailey Bieber uses the Valera Skin Food Cream as a highlighter. So yeah, it's a it's a great idea. It, it's really great for the skin, so it's a great idea. And the third thing you can do, the first one is humectants, the second one is occlusives, and the third thing is barrier-friendly ingredients like ceramides, lipids, ceramides, fatty acids, the squalane, but also such ingredients like hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and niacinamide will help. So yeah, there are a lot of great barrier-friendly, barrier-saving ingredients. And here are some of my favorites. Of course, the Cosarix Snail Mucin Essence. It's my favorite. It's my right or die. I love it. It hydrates my skin like nothing else, and I use it every fall, winter, and spring. <laughs> yeah, probably. I, I just don't use anything in the summer. I just don't use serums in the summer anymore, guys. So yeah, I would use it. I just, I just don't. <laughs> but it's really amazing and it's 96% snail secretion filtrate, which actually will help your skin elasticity. And it's anti-aging, it's very hydrating, but it also contains alantain. And let me read it. Sodium hyaluronate, alantine, and panthenol, which are really great for soothing the skin and also are great for hydrating and for the barrier. So the next favorite of mine, I actually always use this together. I don't know. I think they are they are stronger and better together. So yeah, the next one is the Purito Centella Unscented one, Unscented Serum, and Centella Unscented Cream Moisturizer. Both, yeah, both with Centella and both are my favorites, both are my right or dies and I would use this on my body if it wasn't this expensive because yeah, the tube is like 50 milliliters and if I apply it on my whole body, Pure Vita, please do a body lotion. I will buy it. I will, I will buy it. I'm... <laughs> please 
to it. So yeah, this so as you get from the name, this contains centella, and centella is one of the greatest ingredients in Korean skincare world. It's anti-inflammatory, it's barrier repairing, it soothes irritation, it calms down inflammation, the redness, it hydrates your skin, it's full of antioxidants, it's amazing. I really love centella to the moon and back, and this this trio is amazing. Also, if you have acne scars, both snail mucin and Centella asiatica can aid you in wound healing, so... <laughs> Lately, I actually get the hormonal acne pimples pretty often, probably because my skin barrier is up. And also, I lost my cap, but it's finished anyways. Yeah, it's like completely finished and I actually really like like the packaging so you can use it till the very end Lia you you are amazing or Leah you sorry if I'm pronouncing this not right but the this oh my god so this is the great beauty barrier great barrier relief serum which is which contains tamano oil, safflower oil, rosehip oil, niacinamide and ceramides and it's the best thing you can do to your skin barrier. It smells. <laughs> the scent is you cannot you kind of get used to it but you kind of not. So yeah, if you're very sensitive towards fra it's not fragrance, it's just I think it's the tamano oil scent. I won't lie to you guys, but it's the it's the scent of the ingredients inside it, so yeah, it's not very unpleasant, but if you're very sensitive, you probably will ditch it, because it really it really was bothering me in the beginning, but when I was like in the middle, I was like, okay. okay. So yeah, I will repurchase this if I'm going to US, and I will probably be going there in late February, March, I hope so, and I will repurchase my Great Beauty favorites. And if I'm not using those guys, I'm using this, the Bioma Moisturizing Gel Cream with Free Ceramide Complex with Niacinamide and Green Tea and I also love their Hydrating Serum which contains, as I remember, this Collane Free Ceramide Complex and something else so these are really great for the skin barrier and I love Bioma to the moon and back I have tried only two products but I love them and I don't know guys, if you have tried Bioma maybe you can recommend me a new product to try so tell me in the comments and what else besides these guys you can do is to buy yourself a humidifier at least for your bedroom or for your kids bedroom your nose, your mucous membranes, your throat everything in your skin, everything will say huge thanks because we are losing moisture like crazy when it's very dry inside and if you live in a colder country like I do but actually I was in Los Angeles when winter, like two winters back yeah, two winters back and it was cold, it was 8 degrees Celsius and the heating was on and I was so dry because I did not expect this from Los Angeles <laughs> Yeah, so you need to really hydrate your skin both inside and out and that means drinking a lot of water, purchasing a moisture, moisture <laughs> purchasing a humidifier and we have one downstairs and one in our bedroom. Somehow our son's bedroom is always like 60% and ours is like 30. I don't know. I don't I have no idea how this happens, but yeah, it happens so he doesn't need it, we took it. <laughs> and I know guys, humidifiers are on the pricier side than, a, for example, a cream, a moisturizer or a glass of water, but your skin and your body in a whole will say huge things. And this humidifier, it will serve you multiple years, I think up to five years, it's completely normal. Ours, we have ours for the small one for four years and the bigger one for downstairs for three or two years and yeah these are like new and yeah my mom has one for like 10 years so i think if you want 
splurge on this, you will be very, very happy. And the tip number three, and it's probably the one you don't want to hear from me, but it's press stop button on your actives if you feel like your skin barrier is off or if you're feeling that your skin is overreacting if your skin reacting somewhat strange to some actives and if you just feel that your skin looks strange and probably needs more actives like you see fine lines probably you need more retinoids or you see the rough texture and you probably need more exfoliation it's not always like this and if you see fine lines which appeared from nowhere like you were okay like two weeks ago and someone <laughs> you are getting older yeah you are getting older but you are not getting older in like two weeks so basically if you see fine lines which appears like overnight it can be dehydration lines and yeah it shows that your skin is dehydrated your barrier is off and if you moisturize your skin if you stop using retinoids which will dry your skin out even more and there will be more wrinkles so basically if you use actives if you use anti-aging actives you can see that your skin is worse <laughs> which sounds strange yeah uh, your skin is worse than if you don't use them but you hydrate your skin very very well and you use occlusives you use rich you use rich uh, <laughs> you use occlusives you use rich creams and yeah if your skin is dehydrated, if your skin barrier is off, Actis won't help you, they will make it worse. So my biggest recommendation for you guys today will be, be to be mindful about the products you put on your skin, why are you putting them on your skin and are they good for your skin, to be conscious about the state of your skin. For example, if your skin is red, why is it red? So become some kind of detective which will like get to know your skin better and which will search for the answers and yeah why your skin is red if it's the actives ditch the actives if it's just the cold weather try to create a barrier from the cold environment and yeah and hydrate so basically try to understand the reason behind your skin side effects and that way you will learn to easily heal it and guys thank you so much for watching there are so many new of you guys and i can't wait to get to know you so leave the comments down below i will answer to every single one i promise so thank you for watching write a comment put a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i see you in the next one bye